Having cataracts is like having a cloudy film between you and the world. Your vision is blurry. Colors can look faded and yellow. You may even experience glare and sensitivity to light, especially at night. Unfortunately, cataracts are a normal part of aging, but they don't have to be a permanent part, thanks to advancements in cataract surgery. Cataract surgery is not only safe and effective, it's one of the most common surgeries in the United States. Over three million procedures are performed every year. If this sounds like a large number, it's because a large percentage of us will develop cataracts by the time we reach 65. Some people begin experiencing the effects of presbyopia, the gradual loss of near or intermediate vision in their mid-40s. When you're younger, your eye's natural lens flexes and arches with ease. This process is called accommodation and it allows you to see clearly at a range of distances. For example, when you look from an object in the distance to one that's right in front of you, your muscles contract and your natural lens becomes more rounded. As you age, your lens becomes stiff and hardens, so it can no longer accommodate these changes. Without the youthful flexibility, the lens can't focus properly, making it difficult to see clearly at all distances and in all lighting conditions. During cataract surgery, this cloudy natural lens is removed and replaced with an artificial one, called an interocular lens, or an IOL. The surgery itself can take as little as 15 to 20 minutes and is performed on an outpatient basis, so you can recover in the comfort of your own home. Once you decide to have surgery, you and your doctor will choose which type of lens you should receive, because all intraocular lenses don't work the same way. A standard monofocal IOL is designed to provide distance vision, but since this lens doesn't flex or move with the eye, you'll probably still need glasses to correct your near and intermediate vision, even if you didn't need them before surgery. You can also choose the crystal lens accommodating IOL, what makes Crystal Lens unique is that it's designed to treat both your cataracts and your presbyopia. Crystal Lens is designed to work like a healthy, natural lens, flexing with your muscles to provide a continuous range of vision. So you can see near, far, and everywhere in between. In fact, Crystal Lens can reduce, even eliminate your need for glasses. After surgery, you should follow your doctor's instructions and avoid any unnecessary strain. Most patients won't need to wear an eye patch or any other bandage. It won't be long before you can return to normal activities. Many patients are able to drive and return to work within just two or three days. To learn more about Crystal Lens, talk to your doctor. Together, you can decide if Crystal Lens is right for you. Hopefully this video has given you a better understanding of your options for cataract replacement surgery. Crystal Lens. Don't just see. See better. I had to wear glasses just about all the time. I couldn't see across the room. I couldn't drive anywhere without having my glasses on. I couldn't go shopping. I chose the Crystal Lens surgery because I had talked to a few of my friends who had had it done. I had talked to other people who had not used the Crystal Lens and they didn't seem to be doing as well as my friends who did. Right after the surgery I went out for lunch and I went to work the next day and uh, no problems whatsoever. Having the, the Crystal Lens in has made me so much freer without having to worry about putting glasses on all the time. When I go outside, I can see all, all the colors are better, and I can read anything, and I can drive anywhere. It's just wonderful. I had been diagnosed with um, cataracts about 10 years prior to my having these crystal lens inserted, and that was about six months ago. It has just been such a wonderful experience to be free of having to wear glasses. I have very good near vision and far vision. Um, and reading is much easier for me now because the words are separated. It had gotten where the words ran together. I don't even know where my glasses are now. I have not worn them one time since having the surgery. And in fact, 
one week after I had my second surgery, I went to the Department of Motor Vehicles, took the vision test again, and they removed my restriction for glasses. And that was a day of freedom. Mm -hmm.